Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing Indica. So let's start this. We have a big one. Forgive me. Oh God. I forgot myself for a moment. No. Sorry. 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 I didn't mean to. What just happened? Go. There's a basket for Smaragda in the warehouse. She's waiting. Okay. Okay, I don't know what that is. <clears throat> what does it mean to be truly righteous? I don't know. To never succumb to temptation or to take a vow of chastity despite constant temptation. Our heroine did not know the answer to this question and preferred never to dwell on it. If it were up to her, she would have chosen the quiet life of a nun. However, destiny had something different in store for her. Everything looks nice. Okay. Let's get in the warehouse. Huh? This looks like some factory. It doesn't look like a warehouse. Okay, I can't see. Where are we? I'm sorry. Maybe I can help. You're the last person I need right now. Get lost. Sorry. Thank you. Steam hydraulic mission. I am not going to operate that right now. Okay. Maybe this is not the warehouse, right? There's a basket. I don't know. This, this is the basket. What is going on?
Yeah, we can say something is really off with her. For the sake of the prayers of all the... Stesha, do you have something prepared for Smaragda? It's cold today, isn't it? <laughs> oh, potato. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So everyone is really nice to her. The sisters laughed, Indica. Yeah, I can see that. Christian love is known to be patient, merciful, and faithful. However, in a lowly human sense, they didn't love her that much. To be completely honest, they didn't love her at all. Many of them felt nothing but disgust for her. Indica, however, was not to blame. Were it not for the voice that was inculcating ideas in her, unforgivable for a Christian, she would have been a virtuous and rather mediocre nun. Indica's biggest dream was for that voice to leave her alone once and for all. Her entire life became a struggle, a painful resistance. No matter how hard she tried, no matter how much she tortured herself, the voice grew louder and more convincing every day. some water. Get a full barrel of water. Water. I think she's a maid, not a nun. It's a slow burn, right? It starts off really slow, 
Then you get boom. Do I have to fill this whole barrel? Five times. That is going to be great. Okay, let's do this. We can't run, I guess. Let's sprint. We have to do this five times. Up. Useless labor is the basis of spiritual development. Obedience is above fasting or prayers. Indica didn't understand why she needed to retrieve the water from the well if there was a pump next door that took it from a sacred spring. She didn't understand why drinking from the spring was allowed, but cooking soup was a sin. The well was only about 50 meters away from the spring. It was not possible to have any other water there. Even a tenth of it is the same. They say, on Epiphany, even a drop of holy water blesses an entire canister. If that were true, a couple of evaporated drops from the spring would bless the puddles beneath Earth. Okay, that's three. Yeah, that's three. Okay. okay so we have a church. Another church. Another church. What is this place? Fun fact, I haven't been to a place where it snows 
I never seen snow lying on the floor in person. Yes, it's really hard to walk on snow, right? We have our final bucket of water. Let's go. Yay. Yay. Indeed, and even ten of them. With God's help, we'll make it to spring. No way. Sisters won't eat after her. Mother, the sign of the cross saves from the plague. But this, God forgive me. Glory to. Smaragda, don't tempt me. I'm sending Evdakia to you. Don't let this one into the refectory. I'm going to kill her. O Son of God, accept me on this day as communicant of thy sacred supper, for I shall not divulge thy mysteries to thy foes. I shall give thee no kiss akin to Judas, but as an outlaw shall I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May my communion of thy immaculate mysteries, O Lord, not be judged or condemned, but heal the body and soul. Servant of God, Indica shall now take communion with the body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is forbidden to leave the convent without a blessing. Despite her requests, Indica had not been blessed to leave for a full year. When she was tasked with delivering the letter, it took her completely by surprise. Even though she did not know the contents of that letter, she could not shake the feeling that it would play an extremely important, perhaps critical, role in her life. What's in it? I don't know. What's in it? 
what's in it let's go right let's go where are we going hey, we can run Hindu nothingness I'll take left, right. Yeah, let's take left. I haven't seen anyone other than nuns. They don't say much. Where do we go? For the sake of the prayers of all the saints, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Tisha, I need to go to the other side. Georgie, pirate, be quiet. The animals feel the unholiness. They're just happy to see me. Tisha, I'm sorry. The animals feel the unholiness. I brought you some apples. Or lovka, your favorite. Tisha, I must hurry to the train. <gasps> Tisha, what have you done? The steps are all wet. You'll slip and fall again. Don't worry, Tikhon, I understand. Forgive me, for Christ's sake. What is everyone's problem? I need a 
moment. And I hate darkness. the key. Oh, what an imbecile. Indica loved Tihon. Imbecile was a medical diagnosis, so she was just using the word literally. In any case, Tihon couldn't hear her. Hypocrisy isn't really a virtue, is it? It was as if the convent didn't want to let her go. Even though she knew there was no place closer to God, she yearned to leave it, at least for a short time. Not true! I think deep inside she hated her monastic cell, Smaragda's tasteless... Cleanse barren of good deeds, but I beseech thee, O Lord, pour out upon me a drop of thy mercy and cleanse me, for I am defiled by many sins, and I will praise thy name all of the days of my life. And now I cry to thee as the prodigal, I have sinned before thee, O merciful come to thee, my Lord and God, a sinful and bad one, not having the boldness to look up. Hated to smile at Sister Martha's toothless jokes, hated the fuming candles, the rest of has had compassion on our souls, so in the the humility, the fear of God, signing the cross over her mouth after every yawn, before entering the temple, after crying, after leaving the temple, after entering the refectory, praying before entering her cell. You find this barren of good deeds, but I beseech thee, O Lord, pour out upon me a drop of thy mercy and cleanse me, for I am defiled by many sins and I am. Change when you signing the cross, fasting up. Apologizing, pretending to be interested in the lives of the saints. Apologizing, repenting, praying, apologizing, endless oaths, the black veils. Apologizing, crying, apologizing, apologizing, apologizing. Indica hated Smaragda's tasteless cabbage soup, the smell of... And now I cry to thee as the protocol I have sent before thee, O merciful Father. Receive me a penitent. Okay, and we are through. Thank God. And we are dead. Don't waste time going towards the apartments. That's a nice point.
Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, what, what, what are you doing here? You. The cloister is here! Oh. What, what, what nun is you? fine. The conventual is here! The nun. But, but, listen, you're, you're lucky to b bump into me. I, I, I keep missing and I'm, I'm no g good at this. <laughs> Just, what? Go, 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 go. Get out of here. What? What? I, who's there? to bump into him. He's not a great shot. Yes. Sorry, I can help if you let me. No, I don't think it can be helped. His nobleness has decided to listen to the visitation one last time. So let him listen. Don't interrupt. Excuse me, what, what happened here? Have you heard the joke about a crowbar in a train toilet? So, there was this train with a bunch of convicts. They put a spring between two carriages while the train was moving. They tried to plan an escape, I guess. How many died? Mostly fugitives. Many of them were shot. They've had to care for the sick. Me? Of course. We often have to. Then come with us to the station. All the wounded are there. of respect for his dying wish, or for the size of his epaulets. What do you think?
Extremo. Husband. Husband. I guess he was loved. No. When do you obey me? Worry. Fear is a natural reaction, life saving in most cases. What is your goal? To help the girl or show what a hero you are? Exactly. If you're trying to help, there's no chance. Listen to her. Doesn't like getting abandoned in the middle of an act. What? What? Did you see the size of that thing? Maybe you wanted to join them. <laughs> no bad idea. <laughs> it's not enough, you motherfucker.
Please subscribe for more videos. Peace out.